All right, everybody, before we do a close down, I thought I'd give you a few tips and tricks that we were working on today while we're out there. Uh, one thing we want to do today is try to get in the deeper water. The tide was going out, so we kind of wait to the end of the day to try it. And one thing I want to tell you, when you get out of that deep water, it's that you, you have a tendency to float up when you're trying to dig. It's really hard to dig. Well, what did they use, John Boy? We had to put on the weight belt. The weight belt, that's right. We were wet suited up a little bit, then we put on the weight belt, and of course that adds buoyancy to you, so. Yeah, the wet suit will add a little bit so you float too. So you gotta have some weight, so when you get down there, you can put your scoop down and dig. Without that weight belt, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Especially when you get deep. I mean, you're almost floating anyway. You can't really get any weight into it to dig, so. Mm -hmm. If you're going to dig deep, get your weight belt. Even if you're not a diver, you can still get a weight belt. Sure. And go in and uh, give it a shot. Unfortunately, uh, the targets were not in the deep water. We've pretty much done everything in the shallow water. And that's another point is um, right as you got a slope coming down, then you got like a little, I call it a trough right in there. And a lot of times stuff works its way off the beach into that trough. Right. And that's where you want to concentrate at. A lot of y'all don't go in the water. You need to get in the water. Even if you go on a low tide, just a few feet deep, you don't have to go real deep. That is a hot spot to hit right in that trough. It was, and that's one of the only places we were getting targets out of. As a matter of fact, it was, uh, everything was just kind of sanded in from the outside. So yeah. we just had that one little area where we got the majority of our stuff out. We had a few little, you got that nice bracelet, and we're going to show you all the finds in um, Yeah, that bracelet there out in deeper water. Mm -hmm. I mean, so that was a recent drop, though. Um, a lot of sand had moved in there, but... Um, if you found somebody had just dropped something, I got one thing that this right here was a recent drop that was out deeper. So we did get a few targets out deeper, but nothing like we were doing up in the shallow water for sure. Right. Um, any other tips there, John Boy, as far as how we hit, hit it today? Um, Hunt hard and be persistent. Man, persistent. We put some hours in. It. We put the hours in today. We definitely earned everything we got today for sure. And I'm hunt believe. slow. Had to hunt slow. slow. Yeah, and that was one thing. John Boy likes to. I call it cross speed. <laughs> I mean, you can't do, you know, when you, especially when you get to an area, you got to almost crawl. Because a lot of those targets are, I mean, you bear, if you're going too fast, you won't even hear it. So you right. got to slow down and hunt it slow. Slow, slow. So uh, anyway, that's a good point to uh, make sure you do that. Um, what do you think, John Boy? Is that, that cover pretty much uh, attack mode from today? Yeah, that's what we use. Uh, other than that, it was a great hunt. No gold, awesome but it was a great hunt. Yep. Beautiful Six day. rings. That's not, that's not bad. And I got five pieces of silver. So we're going to show you that. Y'all ready? Let's check it out right now. Here we go. All right. Let's get into the good stuff right here. Here we go. All right. First, we got a lot of, a lot of little small targets in there for sure. As y'all can see, we had a lot of targets today. It's definitely more than y'all seen on the last few, uh, uh, trips I've been on, I've got just a few targets, I, plenty of targets today. I also want to mention one thing, today is too, um, I'm getting it mm, mm, like an iron hits. I said, let me dig a few of these up just to see what they are. And that's kind of like some of the stuff with some, definitely some metal, some old nails. Uh, sometimes you got to dig stuff just to see what it is mm -hmm. so you know what you're going by. Uh, anyway, yeah, I just, I, I tested that out, so I was just trying it out. Got about I think about five dollars in, in clay, which is not bad. John Boy got about three bucks in clay, which is not bad. He got a few odds and ends up here too. Oh my gosh, John, that's a big old. That's some uh, serious um, gray matter right that's there. Serious. Yes. That's big old gray matter. John Boy, we got uh, y'all saw him find this. This has got like a Buddha face on it right there, which is kind of cool. Belly ring, right, John Boy? Mm -hmm. Belly ring. Probably uh, sterling silver, I would say, probably. This is one of the best finds of the day, I think, John Boy. That is really pretty. It's a, a bangle. Uh, opens up and uh, got some diamond. We didn't check the diamonds yet, John Boy. We did not. We'll have to check that and make sure see if they are real or not. But uh, that's that's a pretty one right there. That's That was out deep. Uh, earring. Is that silver, John Boy? It, I don't think so. I think it's just bling. Okay. John Boy got three rings. That was the first one. Got some real pretty color into it. If you notice, it's got kind of like a rainbow colors all mm -hmm. in it. I wonder how they make it do that, John Boy. I don't know. I don't know if they use heat. A lot of times uh, you add heat to metal and it'll make it like that. Uh, and that's a recent loss. Look at this. There's purple mm -hmm. one way and silver one way. Pretty. And that turns on it right here. So it's pretty cool. That's mm -hmm. the first one found. And I think this was the second one. 
That's sterling silver right there. Mm -hmm. There's a toe ring right there. You count toe rings, John Boy? Um. <laughs> John Boy says, oh, when, I'm behind, uh, when I'm behind, I'll count them. <laughs> all rings count, John Boy. All, all rings, rings count. They do. All rings all count. All rings count. And this is actually one made from a spoon, which is kind of interesting. They, they cut a spoon off, fold it around, and make a ring out of it. It's pretty for sure. It is. Nice, nice one there, John Boy. I like it. Um, over here, I'm not sure what that is. You don't think that just might just be a copper thing. I don't know if that's anything. That's an earring right there for sure. That one's a deep target, man. I finally got it out, though. Uh, it's not going to be it's just going to jump, junk type thing. I thought this was going to be sterling right here, but looking at it under the microscope, I, I'm going to say no because it's got a little chip on it right there. Uh, this is one I got out there in the deep. It's like a little cross on it, and um, uh, right there, stainless. I'm sure that's stainless steel right there, though. I'm not sure what that is, but it's not going to be uh, anything great on that little pendant. This was pretty cool right here. Um, let's see if we can... Uh, let me try something here. I, I actually took a picture of it because it's really hard to read right there. And uh, I'm going to get it out here. Where you, here you go, John Boy. Read that thing. This thing says... A smooth seed never made a skilled sailor. A smooth seed never made a skilled sailor. You can see a little hole through it right there was a pendant they hang down around the neck. That's pretty cool. That might buff. I'm going to try to buff that out see how it looks and maybe give it to somebody in the Navy or something. They probably would like that. I like that. Um... We got three rings and some silver. I'm going to talk about that in a second. All right, this is a junker ring right here for sure. I mean, yeah, it's just plain junk. This is sterling silver right here. It's like a wrapped wire type sterling silver, 925 on it. This is a what they call a wave ring, and that's uh, sterling silver. We got 925 and right in the back of that one. We find a lot of those, don't we, John Boy? Yes, we do. That's, that's very popular. That's sterling, so that's a good thing. Uh, this little chain y'all saw me find right there is sterling silver. So you got sterling silver, sterling silver, sterling silver. I got two more pieces of sterling here. Right there. That's it's a sterling silver hoop. Right there. And a sterling silver, I think that's like a Pandora type uh, charm right there. And I'm going to need to clean that up because Miss Gigmaster might be able to use that one. Right, Miss Gigmaster? Yeah. All right. She's, she's all over that <laughs> if I get it cleaned up pretty. All right, everybody. John Boy, you ready to wrap it up? I'm ready to wrap it up, Jake Master. All right, hopefully we'll try to give you some more tips and uh, tricks on beach hunting on some of the videos, too, instead of showing you stuff. So I like to kind of go through that. And the day is two, trying to work that out. And we got uh, John Boy's day is two is going to be coming. Coming. Before too long. So John Boy is going to drift over to the day is two before it's over with. Like I said, John Boy, I, I love it. Love it, but it just leaks. So on Equinox, I wish it didn't leak so bad. I and mean, we, I just had one replaced. John Boy got problems. It's cool right now. So anyway, it's the way it goes sometimes. All right, all right, we appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment, blow, share. And what do you got to do, John Boy? Subscribe to the Gig Master. You got it. We'll see you on Adventure tomorrow. Stay tuned.